Hello, everyone. In this talk, I will present Anime Studio, which is a new online and interactive web application to produce and visualize results from network meta-analysis. This is all joint work with Anna Haimani, also from the University of Paris. So the main reason behind Anime Studio is that we wanted to provide a tool that could not only enhance, but also facilitate the interpretation of the main findings from a network meta-analysis. We know that network meta-analysis by integrating direct evidence with what is called indirect evidence can simultaneously compare many treatments. And for this, typically there is a very large number of results and outputs being produced. So visualization can be challenging, especially when we have large networks with many treatments. Also more recently, it seems that we are moving towards the context of living evidence. So with data collected weekly or monthly. So we need new software to keep up with this fast production of evidence. However, existing software in the field so far are not fully interactive in the same way we hope Enemy Studio can be. So a bit more specifically, uh, Anime Studio is a Python application that connects to R uh, to produce the anime results using the library NetMeta. Then those results are imported back in Python where the app is built. In Anime Studio, users upload their data and interact directly with a customizable network plot by clicking on different nodes, so the treatments, or different edges, so the comparisons. And based on their selection, different outputs will be displayed. So Anime Studio will follow all of the key steps which are typically um, performed in any published NMA, starting from the very first assumption of and fundamental assumption of transitivity. And then once this is met, typically a large part is dedicated to the reporting of the uh, of a summary of the treatment effects uh, in the form of uh, forest plots or league tables. Then, uh, importantly, we need to assess whether consistency holds in the network. So if there is a agree statistical agreement between direct and indirect evidence, and also to assess for the presence of small study effects, which is a phenomenon related to uh, the problem of publication bias. Finally, a ranking of treatments is usually provided. So Anime Studio will assist the user in each of these steps, and we will see this how with a demonstration. So our data come from a recently updated systematic review uh, about chronic plate psoriasis, which comprehends 158 RCTs and compares uh, 20 different drugs. There are two primary outcomes that will be analyzed one for efficacy and one for safety. In this case, both outcomes are binary and risk ratios will be used. So we can just have a look uh, at the app. Okay, so this is the main homepage of uh, Anime Studio. And first thing you will need to upload your own data from here. Um, selecting your uh, data file, for example, and um, um, data format or uh, type of outcome. Here I've already uploaded the data uh, and this is permanently loaded actually this example into the app, but once the data process is completed, your network plot will appear here on the left. Uh, this is a completely uh, interactive uh, object, so you can move it around, zoom in or out, or also drag every item. Also, there are additional settings here, uh, starting from the layout, so you can change layout from a list, you can um, change edge sides or node sides, for example, and also a few options about coloring the nodes, for example, by risk of bias that you will have in your data, or by class of treatment, if you have that, and also just choosing your desired color, and same for the edges. Uh, then you can download the plot from here or look at an expanded version from here. Still, in terms of network visualization, uh, we added an option to look at the evolution of the network over time with the slider here on the right. So, for example, uh, if we click on the very first data available uh, for this data in 1963, we can have a look at the first trial and then we move on over time and we can see how evidence is added. And also you will see that the data table is filtered in real time accordingly. 
also in terms of data uh, filtering, you can filter your data set just by clicking on a few comparisons or so edges in the network or a few nodes, and the data table will be filtered accordingly again. You can also have a look at the expanded table and export uh, the, the data in CSV. Okay, so now we are ready to start uh, all of these uh, key steps of the NMA that I was referring to before, starting from transitivity. So to check transitivity, we need to check whether the distributions of uh, the potential effect modifiers that you have in your uh, data set uh, are similarly distributed across comparisons. You can choose your effect modifier here. For example, we have a look at age, which is typically provided, and the uh, corresponding plot will appear here. Also, this access labels and this this is true for all the subsequent plots is edit are editable so for example here you can just choose your label and also if you want to highlight a few comparisons of interest you just have to click on the corresponding uh, edge in the plot uh, moving on we have the summary of the effects so starting from forest plots here we have three options, an NMA forest plot, the typical pairwise forest plot, and the bidimensional uh, forest plot in case, of course, two outcomes are given. So starting from the first one, uh, here, of course, we will need to choose a um, reference treatment, and we do so just by clicking on a node on the network. We can have a look at the uh, plot. Um, also, you will have to choose the correct direction uh, of the outcome to interpret the plot correctly. And we can also have a look at the uh, plot for the second outcome. In this case, the network plot will be automatically updated for outcome two. Then for the pairwise forest plot, of course, in this case, we will have to choose a comparison. And you can resize a little bit uh, um, the objects. And also, again, you can have a look at it plot here for outcome one or two and you can save it all the plots will uh, are, you can save it from uh, from here then moving on again uh, we have the bidimensional forest plot so you will have the uh, forest plots for outcome one on the x-axis and for outcome two on the y-axis again we just choose a reference treatment the forest plot will appear here and in this case you will have to pick the correct region of the plot to interpret the results correctly based on the direction of the outcome also, you can uh, uh, click on uh, the legend to remove sequentially a few treatments if that's needed. Then again, we have the part dedicated to the league table. So league tables report all of the possible uh, treatment effects between any uh, possible pair of um, uh, treatments uh, in the network. So they tend, of course, to be very large. Um, and here you can see that you can scroll the table. We also allow for two different options of uh, coloring the table. First, a default option by risk of bias in the direct comparisons, you will have the average risk of bias, but also coloring by report from cinema assessment. So cinema is a software that reports uh, a, an overall rating in the confidence of the evidence, which is graded as very low confidence, low confidence, uh, moderate or high in each comparison. So what you will have to do is to upload uh, the results from the uh, from that you get from cinema for both outcomes, of course, and then have a look at the corresponding coloring here. On the um, lower part of the triangle, we have results from outcome one and on the upper for outcome two. Also, you can have a look at the expanded table here and you can export it, maintaining coloring and formatting. But what is important here is that, as we said, leak tables tend to be very large, so you might want to have a look just at the subset of nodes which are more of interest. So you can do so just by clicking sequentially on a few nodes, and you see that the filter date table will appear here. Then, uh, moving on, we have other checks. Uh, so starting from consistency. In this case, in NMA Studio, we allow for two different options, uh, a global test for uh, inconsistency, which is the design by treatment interaction model, and a local test for inconsistency, which is the node splitting uh, approach. Uh, 
you will see that you have all of your results here in the tables uh, for the node splitting for all of the different uh, um, direct uh, comparisons. You can scroll down and you can see that uh, suspicious p-values are flagged in red or yellow. Also here you can filter the table just picking a few comparisons of interest. Then we have to assess for the presence of the small study effects, and we do so using the typical funnel plots, uh, in this case, comparison adjusted funnel plots. Here also we have to pick uh, uh, a reference treatment. So again, we just do so clicking on the network and the corresponding plot will appear here for outcome one or outcome two. Then finally, we said we have the ranking of the treatments. In Anime Studio, we allow for two different uh, plots, uh, heat map reporting p-scores for both outcome or for one outcome only, and a scatter plot of the p-scores. So p-scores are the frequentist analog of the more common sucra values. And what is important here is that you will have to choose the correct direction of the outcome. So for example, outcome two for us is uh, harmful. So we change this here and uh, we will have our heat, heat map here with treatment sorted from best to worst. Then um, we have our uh, scatter plots reporting uh, P scores for outcome one on the X axis and for outcome two on the Y axis. Again, you choose the correct direction and you will have, of course, on the upper right part of the plot treatments that appear to be the best in both outcomes. But what is important here is that you can use the network plot to assist in the interpretation of these results. For example, if we just look at some more details, we can see that uh, the, the best treatment is actually a treatment which is um, okay at low risk of bias, but also not very well connected. There is only one trial assessing this treatment. So it is always important to use the network to assist in the interpretation of the findings. So this is pretty much it for um, uh, functionalities of the app. We also have a documentation page and a news page. Um, so just to conclude, um, we have seen how Anime Studio is a full interactive and flexible application and that it can simplify the full anime process while also assisting in the interpretation of findings. However, as all softwares, it comes with many benefits, but also with many risks. So we always really highly recommend to use Anime Studio following advice from an experienced uh, statistician. There are many features that we will we would like to add to Anime Studio. Um, just to name a few here, we would like to add more options to customize our network plot and also a more robust system of alerts or warnings, for example, printing the errors from the R console directly. Uh, for sure, we will add uh, an option for uh, performing Bayesian NMAs. And also we are looking into ways to provide each user with a permanent link to their project. Anime Studio is also accompanied by Python package, which is currently under development, but that will be available soon. Uh, of course, this is not an exhaustive list, so we can add more. And uh, if you have any suggestion or ideas, uh, that will be uh, more than welcome. So you can get in touch with me at this email address here if you want to discuss more. Thank you very much, everyone.